Monsignor Reynolds was born in Chetty, near Arthunkal, on 28th of December 1910, as the eldest son of Joseph and Maria Kuti of the Purakal family. Now, the young Reynolds, or Vavachan as he was called then, had his primary education in Polathai, where his parents had settled. He then went over to St. Ephraim's High School in Manamam, which has been rightly called the Harrow of Kerala Catholics. From his early childhood, Reynolds nourished a desire to serve our Lord, and it was also his father's last wish that he go for priesthood. As a fulfillment of all this, young Reynolds joined the Sacred Heart Seminary at Alapuza in June 1928. Completing his seminary studies at Manglapuza, he was ordained in July 1937. He was immediately posted as assistant to the director of St. Anthony's Orphanage and later became director in 1940 and held that post till his demise in 1988. When young Father Reynolds joined St. Anthony's Orphanage as an assistant to Father Trinidad, the then director of St. Anthony's Orphanage in 1937, little did he know that his life was destined to be interwoven with that of the orphanage, that he was going to be almost identified with the orphanage. The Second World War which broke out, which soon impoverished the town and the suburbs further and the demands on the orphanage increased heavily. For Father Reynolds, who had by then taken over as the director of the orphanage, it was a big challenge, but he never refused admission to anyone. He simply could not. But for a short stint of pastoral assignment and a brief period as director of the Pastoral Orientation Centre, his entire priestly life was spent in St. Anthony's Orphanage, looking after the young boys who needed his care and love. And this care and love, Monsignor Reynolds gave abundantly and helped many young boys go up the echelons of life. The Catholics of Elope, who knew Monsignor Reynolds and has personal contact with him, spoke of how he was a legend. His pastoral care, concern for the poor and commitment to the cause of the orphan boys had endeared him to all. His contacts and interactions with ordinary people cut across the barriers of caste and creed. An eloquent preacher and a convincing speaker, he could reach out to almost everyone in and around Alape. His weekly exhortations and novena at St. Anthony's Shrine in Alape and the annual homilies at the Good Friday Way of the Cross through the streets of Alape were always looked forward to by people. These discourses used to draw people from all parts of the district and even from further places. In spite of all the difficulties he had to encounter, he used to lay great stress on the formation of character as well as educational advancement of the inmates. The atmosphere of prayer and religious fervor, which he always maintained, had a salutary effect on the formation of the young boys entrusted to his care. The result is that today St. Anthony's Orphanage is able to reckon among its alumni a former bishop, numerous priests, successful businessmen, administrators and professions of various hues working in different parts of the world. All of them, though scattered in different parts of the world, remember him with gratitude. His pity, devotion to the Blessed Sacrament and the Blessed Virgin, faith in the powers of intercession of St. Anthony, all made him a central figure in the Catholic public life of Alipay. He was a sought-after retreat preacher too. As the manager and editor of Catholic Life, a socio-religious magazine, which was also the official organ of the Diocese of Cochin, and later that of the Diocese of Alipay, he had a brief link with the journalistic field also. Father Reynolds Burakal died on the 14th of October 1988 and was buried in Mount Carmel Cathedral Cemetery Chapel in Alapuza. Servant of God, Monsignor Reynolds Burakal, pray for us. <laughs>